Good afternoon and welcome to all the parents, grandparents, family and friends that are joining us via the live stream. And thank you for being here with us in spirit. Today we celebrate the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are thankful to our faithful Savior for washing away our sins with his blood. We celebrate the fact that he has conquered sin and death and has given us new life to commemorate Good Friday and Easter. We will be using the theme of water. In the Bible and in our creeds and confessions, we learn that water is used as a symbol of the washing away of our sins. Our program will follow this theme. We will be looking at the representations of water throughout the Old Testament and into the New Testament, starting with creation through to baptism, and finally looking to Jesus Christ, our living water, and the outpouring of his Holy Spirit. Jesus poured out his Holy Spirit so that we may have streams of living water, the love and compassion of Jesus flowing out of our hearts. This theme is based on the following verses from the Bible that I will now read for you. In the following text, Jesus is speaking to the Samaritan woman at the well. In John 4, verse 13 to 14, it says, Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. And the next few verses come from John 7, verse 37 to 39. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scriptures has said, out of his heart will flow streams of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet the Spirit had not been, had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. And with those words from scripture on our hearts, I would like to lead you in a word of prayer. Let's pray. Almighty, eternal God, we thank you that we may gather here today to celebrate and commemorate the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. In your great mercy, you have saved and protected us from your righteous judgment. We pray that we may follow you each and every day and joyfully bear our cross and cleave to you in true faith, firm hope, and ardent love. We know that we cannot do this perfectly, and it is in that knowledge that we are incredibly grateful for the sacrifice of your Son, who overcame sin and death. May streams of your living water flow out of our hearts as we strive to be obedient children. May, our, may your Holy Spirit work in us to be thankful and to let our lights shine before others. All this we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Enjoy our program, and may streams of living water flow out of your heart as we worship and praise our Lord. Please join us at home in singing our opening song, Psalm 8, verse 1, 2, and 5. This introduces our theme, the beginning creation. <laughs>
Next, we will be singing a song called In the Beginning by Jamie Souls, and Kindergarten will recite a verse for you. Next, we will be focusing on the flood with verses and a song by grade three and four. So the rest. become and that every inclination of thoughts of his heart was only evil all the time. The Lord was grieved that he had made man on earth and his heart was filled with pain. So the Lord said, I will wipe mankind who I have created from the face of the earth, man and animals and creatures that move along the ground and birds of the earth for I'm grieved that I made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord, Genesis 6, 5 to 8. God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built. In it, only a few of people, eight in all, were saved through water. 1 Peter 3, verse 20.
Next in our theme is the Red Sea, where we will be singing a song about the Israelites. This is an African-American spiritual that it's based off of. And afterwards, we will be singing Psalm 136. So to start, um, a grade three and four student will read the verse. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided. And the Israelites went through on dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. Exodus 14, verses 21 to 22. And we will continue our theme on the Red Sea, and we will sing our rendition of Psalm 136, put together by Mrs. Peters, um, and we'll sing that for you now.
Next, we come to the theme of baptism, which will be led by the older students. The song lyrics were written by Mrs. Vanderdeen to the tune of A Mighty Fortress. And we have some students reading some verses before we sing. And this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also not from the removal of dirt from the body, but the pledge of a clear conscience toward God. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 3, verse 21. The body is a unit, though it is made up of many parts, and though all its parts are many, they form one body. So it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slave or free, and we were all given one spirit to drink. 1 Corinthians 5, verses 12 and 13. Finally, we will focus on Jesus, our living water, with songs sung by various grades and ending with a whole school song. First up, Master of the Ocean by grade one and two. They saw the works of the Lord, his wonderful deeds in the deep. For he spoke and stirred up a tempest that lifted high the waves. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. They were glad when it could come. And he guided them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and wonderful deed for men.
Please join us at home in singing hymn 73, verse 1, 2, and 4. Next, we'll have our older students singing and reading As the Deer from Psalm 42. Raise your hand if you've ever been thirsty. Maybe it's been after a hockey game and you are sweaty and you just want that sip of ice-cold water to cool you down. Or maybe it's after you ate a whole bucket of popcorn and all the saltiness made you really thirsty. Well, today we're going to learn about a Bible passage that tells us to be thirsty for something. Let's see if you can figure out what it is. Which psalm in the Bible says this? A deer longs for streams of water. God, I long for you in the same way. I am thirsty for God. I am thirsty for the living God. When can I go and meet with him? If you guess Psalm 42, then you are right. What is David, the writer of this psalm, thirsty for? He is thirsty for God and he wants more of God, just like you want a sip of water when you are tired and thirsty. David was crying out to God because he wanted to worship him. He longed to worship in the house of his God. This verse reminds us that God refreshes us and restores us when we spend time with him, just like water refreshes us and restores us when we are hot and thirsty. In Psalm 42, we learn that David was heartsick. He wasn't longing for honor and glory for himself. David longed for communion with God. This was an urgent need of his soul. That is right. David wasn't wishing for silver or gold to make him happy. These verses in the Bible encourage us to remember to tell God in our prayers that we are thirsty for him, just like we are when we are thirsty for a drink of water. David longed for the Lord as an absolute necessity, just like water is to a deer. It is good for us to pray to the Lord and thank him for refreshing us by having something new to teach us. We should all try to make it our joy to read from the Bible on our own every day. 
Nothing in this life will satisfy us except the living water God gives us. It should be natural for us to long for God and his word, just as an animal longs for water when it is thirsty. David yearned for God alone. He did not yearn for food or drink or outward worship. He wanted fellowship with the Lord. He also longed to join with God's people by singing praises to God with his whole heart. It will be good to worship God once again with his people singing praises to him. We should pray that we have a strong desire like David's for God alone. It is our prayer that we learn how important it is to seek God, that we, that we seek to follow him, that we strive to live for him and yearn to spend time with him in the same way that we need air to breathe and water to drink. Now that you have learned more about Psalm 42, we would like to sing a song based on this psalm titled, As the Deer. And finally, as our closing song, we will sing Living Waters by Keith and Kristen Getty.
I would like to lead you in a word of closing prayer. We thank you for joining us today. Let's pray. We come before you, Lord, at the end of this program, and we thank you for the opportunity to praise and worship you in this manner, especially the opportunity to witness your covenant children sing and praise you from their hearts. You are an amazing, loving, and compassionate God. You took our place on the cross and died for our sin. We thank you that we, you were able to conquer sin and death so that we may live. Help us to remember this not only at Easter time, but every day. We know that we have been living in a difficult time, and the concerns and frustrations about the virus have been on everyone's hearts and minds lately. May we lay down our swords, set aside our grievances, and forgive each other as you forgave us, Lord. Lead us to take what you have given us, love, mercy, grace, and forgiveness, and spread those in this world, lavishing them upon others. We pray that your love would bind us together in perfect unity. May streams of living water and the outpouring of your Holy Spirit be evident in our lives as we go from here today. We pray that you will bless the work of this school, the children, the teachers, the school board, and the parents. And we ask that you work in our hearts so that we may spread joy, love, and unity to all those around us. All this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. And for those of you who were not able to tune in live with us today, we are reposting the live stream link and it will be made available to you at 7 p.m. tonight. We thank you for joining us today and we wish you the Lord's blessings for the rest of the week. Thank you. Can all